Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Swain and I'm going to read you a story. This story is titled Octopuses and the author is Christina Leaf. Synopsis, armed with intelligence, eight arms and a beak, octopuses amaze scientists and students alike. What are octopuses? Octopuses are cephalopods known for their eight arms. They are among the world's smartest creatures. These invertebrates are fast learners. They can solve problems and use tools for tasks. All right, what's a cephalopod? It's any class of mollusks that include the squids, cuttlefishes, and octopuses, and they have a group of muscular sucker-bearing arms, highly developed eyes, and usually a bag of inky fluid, which can be released for defense. And let's look up invertebrates. Ooh, invertebrates. All right, it's an adjective and they are lacking backbone. All right, and then other cephalopods again, the cuttlefish, the nautiluses, and squids. Species spotlights are the common octopus. Their lifespans are from one to two years, and their depth range, which is how deep they can go in an ocean, is 656 feet. And they range in the orange area, so around the coast, so around Mexico, southern, at the top of southern South America, um, on the western part of Africa's coast, and you have some Southeast China places or Asia where they're located as well. And they're not in extinct, so they have, are of least concern. So that means there's plenty of them around. Many octopuses prefer shallow coasts. Some live deep below the water's surface. Most octopuses live in dens. They make homes in coral reefs or rocky areas. And this is a picture of a day octopus. All right, let's look up coral reefs. I have to do it in two parts. So coral can be the stony, which is a noun, the stony or horny deposit that is composed of the skeletons of various polyps. And a richly red coral can be used in jewelry and a polyp or polyp colony together with its membranes and skeletons. So coral makes up the big ocean coral reef. And they're alive. They breathe and breathe and are made of skeletons. All right, octopuses are well armed. They come in many sizes. Some are less than one inch long. The largest can stretch 30 feet from arm to arm. All right, so let's look at the smallest octopus. It's called a star sucker pygmy octopus and it's six tenths of an inch. So it's bigger than quite a few bugs, but real tiny, smaller than one inch. And the largest is a giant Pacific octopus. Wow, look how big this is. This is a picture of a diver, an average human size. But then look how big the Pacific octopus is, 30 feet. So that's more than three Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem is seven feet. So seven times three is 21. And this octopus is still bigger than three Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's just to give you some perspective. <laughs> All right. The long arm sit below the head. Suckers line each arm. So here's a close look of the octopus's suckers. And then here they are all along the tentacles of the eight legs of the octopus. All right, moving on. An octopus's body is soft and muscular. A bag-like mantle on top of the head holds and protects its organs. All right, so here's the mantle, and it's covering all the organs of the octopus, which is very precious. All right, let's identify an octopus. They have eight legs, large eyes, and a rounded body. And of course, the mantle is wrapped 
around all the organs. All right, two large eyes give the octopus excellent eyesight. They are on either side of the head. Sneak attackers. Most octopuses hunt at night. These carnivores sneak up on prey. They eat lobsters, crabs, and other crustaceans. Mussels and small fish are other favorite foods. Sometimes octopuses eat other octopuses. Oh no. <laughs> Catch of the day. So they like bogues, green crabs, and great scallops. I like some of those things as well. Octopuses hold meals with the suckers on their arms. Some use venom to slow prey down. A hard beak beneath the body cracks the shells of prey. Then octopuses use empty shells to decorate. They scatter them outside their dens. All right, here's a common octopus with the big fish. And in between those eight legs, will you'll find the beak. And the beak can crush crabs and other hard-shelled animals to make it easy for the octopus to eat. And isn't it cute? They decorate. <laughs> so all the hard shells are scattered outside their dens. And here's a closer look at the beak. All right, so those are two strong, similar to a bird's beak, so very hard material that is used for crushing their prey. All right, moving on. Amazing escapes. All right, here's a coconut octopus. Octopuses move with their arms. Usually they crawl along the ocean floor. Some octopuses walk on two arms. All right, so here's an, uh, an example of the coconut octopus walking on two arms, and the other eight, I guess, just swims along. At times, they force water through their mantles to shoot backward, but this takes a lot of energy. All right, let's look at the octopus speed. So here's a dwarf seahorse that only goes one mile per hour. Then here's the common octopus, who's way faster than the dwarf seahorse at 25 miles per hour. But they're slower than an Atlantic bluefish tuna, which, is, which speed is 43 miles per hour. But the sailfish is way faster than the octopus at 68 miles per hour. Many predators hunt octopuses. To stay safe, octopuses hide. Their boneless bodies squeeze into small spaces. They are also masters of camouflage. Octopuses can change their skin to match colors, patterns, and even textures. All right, let's look at these definitions. Predators. It's a noun, an animal that obtains food mostly by killing and eating other animals. Camouflage. It's a noun, the hiding or disguising of something by covering it up or changing the way it looks. Or the material as paint or leaves and branches used for camouflage. And it's also a verb, to hide or disguise by camouflage. And finally, textures. It's a noun, the structure, feel, and appearance of something as a fabric a quality that identifies something, and it's also a verb, which is to give a particular texture to. All right, so to give you an example of the texture that the camouflage, that the octopus could camouflage into, you see the coral reefs here, you see how it's kind of rocky, and then look at the texture that the octopus can produce for itself to hide, and see the uh-oh, <laughs> let's go back. See the little cave and crevices? Because the octopus is an invertebrate, it can easily fit into those tight, small spaces because it has no bones. All right, other sea enemies of the octopus are the white-tipped reef sharks, great barracudas, and harbor seals. When predators get close, octopuses may squirt a cloud of ink. 
This hides them so they can jet away quickly. And here you see the black ink that octopuses squirt out. All right, so it's black or really dark. So when they squirt it, it blocks the view from their predators and they could easily run away, swim away, jet away, <laughs> any of those synonyms. An octopus may lose an arm in its escape but it can grow a new one. All right, so it has eight arms, and if it loses one, it will regenerate another one. Wish I can do that, boys and girls. All right, and that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Your assignment will be to draw a picture of an octopus and label it for me. So things you can label are the legs. How many legs does an octopus have? If you said eight boys and girls, you are correct. Um, they have suctions or suckers. They have eyes and they have that mantle which covers the important organs of their head. All right, so draw an octopus, please color it and label as many parts as you can. And if you like, you can take the quiz. All right, good job, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you next time.